it's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. Did I say Friday in my last video? I hope I didn't because I don't know what day it is. It feels like a Friday. Is anyone else like going, it's Friday? I'm definitely feeling Friday vibes here. So I may have said happy Friday. Anyway, it is Thursday. And I want to talk about a lot of people were asking me to review the Happy Easter Daffodil Daydreams in the candle, because we have the Bath and Body Works 1295 candle sale going on today. So this is the candle. I've been burning this one all afternoon. And um, I like it. I got some mixed feelings about it. I love the color of the lid. I love the packaging. So I was lucky enough that Chris, this guy's shop, sent me the full size of the Daffodil Daydreams um, body care. We're still not seeing this nationwide nor online. So I don't know if it was just like a test store or um, this is still coming sometime in March. It would be nice because I know a lot of people like the scent. The packaging is absolutely adorable. It's a bunny. There's a lot of different florals on here. And then the shower gel, they have the egg. The candle, of course, matches the body care. So I think a lot of people would love to have... Um, this whole collection because it's actually super cute. So what is it? Happy Easter. It says Happy Easter, which is nice on the candle. It doesn't say Happy Easter though on um, the body care. It just says Happy Easter on the candle. The soap looks just like this too. Same pattern. And um, it's actually a really unique set. It is Sweet Daffodil, Pastel Clouds, and whipped marshmallows. So in the body care, um, you definitely get, oops, <laughs> right in my nose. <laughs> you definitely get the whipped marshmallow, but you get kind of like the sweetness of like a daffodil, kind of that vibe going on. It's really light in the cream, I'll have to say. And um, it's not super strong in the mist either. I actually really like the shower gel. The shower gel is kind of like relaxing. And it's a very difficult scent to describe. So it's neither marshmallow nor floral. It kind of fits in there somewhere between. Um, the other scent in here is pastel clouds, which is one of those obtusive Bath and Body Works scents that you're like, what's a pastel cloud? So it does give off enormous Easter vibes. It's funny. There's something about this scent that reminds me of my childhood. You know what your Easter basket smells like as a kid? Like with the the kind of plasticiness of the Easter grass. That sounds really weird. I know. The wicker of like a wicker Easter basket and then the peeps and the jelly beans, but not super fruity at all. There's no fruitiness, but just like a candy smell. Um, like all of your Easter candy with the Easter grass and the basket. It kind of gives off an odor of like confection, <laughs> I want to say. And you also get a little bit of um, just like, an, I call it like an Easter scent. Like Easter to me smells a certain way. Like the white chocolate sometimes gives off like a different like chocolate, kind of like white chocolate scent the marshmallow, all of that stuff mixed in together. I feel like that's kind of what this candle is doing. Um, daffodils to me are one of like, it's like a light floral. I mean, you're going to smell this and go, is there even a floral in here? It's so light. Another comparison that I have is it kind of smells lightly like a craft store. Like I can remember walking around different areas of um, Pacatans here when it was around and just kind of vaguely smelling like a craft store. Something. By the way, did anyone see that Joanne might be going bankrupt? I'm like, are they shutting down Joanne now? Craft stores are just kind of going away. Kind of sad. Um, I used to love Pacatans around here. But anyway, I get kind of an Easter basket vibe and like a craft store vibe. I know that sounds really strange. This one is very difficult to explain. The good news is because it's $12.95 today, and especially if you have a coupon, I think it's worth trying. Um, is it strong? No, it's not super strong. However, it's delightful. So this is definitely a small room candle. Bathroom, small bedroom, study den, small kitchen. You're not going to get a lot on this at all 
in a large room. I had it in my living room for a while. I could barely smell it. In the smaller room, I'm getting the scent off of it. And it's funny because like I get a little bit of marshmallow, like, oh, marshmallow. And then I get a little bit of something else that's like craft store Easter basket vibe. And then I get a little bit of sweetness, but this is not a floral candle. Like a lot of people are like, is it um, like a fresh cut lilacs? No, it's not floral. It's not like Hello Beautiful. It's um, lightly sweet and it has like a foodie element, but it's not a foodie candle. So again, super hard candle to describe. I think Bath and Body Works did a great job on the scent. It smells like Easter. It's fresh and springy. Got a little foodie element. Um, but like I said, I, I mean, this is one of those things. If you like Easter, if you love the jar, I would highly recommend picking this up. If you're in the store, smell it cold. Kind of see what it's got going on. If you have the body care, you're going to get like an element of what the candle is because they do smell similar. Um, but you're not going to get a lot of throw off of this one. I think it's more of just like a light, beautiful eastery scent and of course you know your guests are going to go oh that's a cute candle actually i think this is a great dinner candle because a lot of times you don't want like a really heaty heavy especially floral candle burning when you're eating like easter dinner this would be like a really nice candle um to burn an easter so um i love it i actually personally like it I think a lot of people are going to be a little bit disappointed in the throw, but I think the aroma is definitely pleasant. So there you have it. That is the Happy Easter Daffodil Daydreams candle. I'm still crossing my fingers that this shows up online so that everyone who wants it can get it. Anyway, I will be back later. Bye-bye.